all you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic. Welcome back to the channel. After I did 21st Century Blood, I got a lot of comments saying that three years later, Nightwish came out with Noise, which was very on par with the message of 21st Century Blood. So why not check it out since I'm due to do some more Nightwish anyway. If you like what I do, please don't forget to like and subscribe, drop a comment down below, click the bell for notifications so that you will always know when another video comes out. And why wouldn't you? Because they're awesome. So without further ado, let's check it out. Oh yeah, it's got some kind of brand on the arm. Hooked up to the machine already. Oh, already I love it. I love it already. They are bringing to light the vapid vastness of things like Instagram, TikTok, etc., and influencers who possibly profit off of their children and it shows them in their designer clothes or whatever their shtick is, just showing off the shiny happy life and how perfect your children are and how perfect your life is and none of it is reality. We're only 32 seconds in and I think we kind of know what the message behind this song is going to be, but I love it already. See, you're sitting there in front of a famous work of art, but instead you're on your phone. I think she said something about bleeding pixels. What an epic line. But now it's kind of like you walk around these days and all you see are at the top of people's heads because nobody's looking up anymore. Nobody even looks where they're walking. Nobody looks where they're driving. It's kind of become a hazard. Not only is it rotting your brain and eating away at your life, but it's like a physical hazard at this point. You know, where was I the other day? We were out doing something. I can't remember what it was. And this girl just stops on the corner of a sidewalk and starts doing what this chick is doing. And I don't think they realize, like, to other people, how ridiculous they look. Who cares that you're out for a walk? Who cares that you're having mimosas for lunch? The amount of sharing that people do online to get likes and like affirmation from other people is really bizarre. Like remember when people kept things private? <laughs> it's like it doesn't even exist anymore. But I think it's also leading to like self-obsession, like an unhealthy view of yourself. Not only that, but it's sort of creating like this entitled behavior. You know, there was a time when technology was beneficial and there are lots of benefits to technology. I feel like now it's having the opposite effect. There's less contentment because it's constant comparison. It's like comparison shopping of things that you will never have and of people that you will never meet. And I think people from my generation and maybe uh, earlier generations especially who started out their life without the internet you know, we get to see the evolution of all of this happen. So the younger generation who are like, oh, hey, whatever, boomer. It's like, no, no, but we see the ramifications. We see the negative aspects as well as the positive, whereas that's all that they've known. The generations who were brought up with cell phones and with technology like this, 
That's all they've ever known. So they don't have anything to compare it to. They don't have that quote unquote normal life that we used to live to compare it to. Manpower. Oh, that was deep right there. I got to go back and see a still shot if I can. It's showing these people, you know, whether you don't believe in this or whether you do believe in this, it's these people who are virtue, sig virtue signaling for likes, right? No matter what you believe, no matter what side you're on, half the time it's just virtue signaling. You don't really care. You're not really going to do anything about X, Y, Z, but you want people to know that you care about it. Love the animals, love the trees. Make sure you get 100,000 likes for this Instagram post. And I think maybe what she's representing is OnlyFans. We've gone off the rails, I feel like. I feel like we peaked as a society in the 90s and we kind of just have gone downhill since then. I don't know if that's my boomer status speaking. I'm not of the boomer generation, but I get the joke behind the term. But I also find as I get older, I understand the movie Grumpy Old Men so much more because I feel like I'm grumpy about things that uh, never were even on my radar before. Maybe it's just you notice things as you get older more and more. And as a younger person, you have like this ideological view about so many things and you have like this romanticized view and of course you think you know everything when you're young I did too my kids do you know it's it's part of the process of growing up but being able to broadcast it via your cell phone I will say I am very glad that I grew up during a time where there were no cell phones that could document my shenanigans and I kind of feel sad for the generation that have numerous amounts of blackmail footage on their friends phones that could get out at any time so yeah I dodged that bullet as did many of us I've paused this so many times, I apologize, because this is not only a great message behind this, but the music is beautiful. The symphony of sounds that we get to hear behind the scenes, behind the, the, the visual scenes here. But that's what you see all over, no matter what the things are that you mainly have on your Instagram. People's butts. Butts. There's butts everywhere. And women want to be like, my eyes are up here. But then they have an account on Instagram that sells their booty program. And the only thing you see are pictures of their butts. So it's complete hypocrisy everywhere. And as a woman, I find it funny. You can't have it both ways. You can't say, don't objectify me and then go objectify yourself.
She's like, I'm not happy anymore, mommy. I don't want to do this anymore. And she's like, smile for the camera, sweetie. Our life is perfect. Come on, put on your fake smile. Come on, smile. Oh, wow, we're getting hard here. This is a real mummy dearest kind of vibe right here. And this guy who has apparently either woken up or, uh, you know, been booted off the mainframe, he better not step out of line. So everybody's going to be taking care of him, so to speak. There's so many different aspects to this song. It's like Orwellian, dystopian sort of future. And they paint it in a very dark way, which I think is important because everybody thinks that all of this stuff is so important in your life and that you won't survive without it. And I think we're all guilty of spending too much time on our phone. There's so many accounts that I've seen where it's completely clear what their purpose is, and it's branding, right? So they use their children to show off these designer clothes, designer bags, designer whatever it is. And then it's like, and if you'd like to know more about the brush I'm using on Sally's hair, check out in my description, da da da. And so basically, they are making money with all of these brand deals. And they wouldn't make any money if they didn't profit off of their children in those videos. The darker aspect to that is that they've got their small children online for who knows who to either get into contact with or to take their photos and their videos down and something that the parents don't seem to care about. They don't seem concerned that there are however many weirdos watching their content specifically to watch their children. This is exactly why I don't allow my children to have social media or just carte blanche when it comes to online access. Their phone does not have a browser, does not have access to any internet. If they want to go onto the internet on a laptop or whatever, they can do it in the living room somewhere where we are because online predators, they know exactly how to get to kids and uh, they get sneakier and sneakier all the time. So when it's profit over your own children's safety, that's a dangerous line to cross. don't think that the verse brave new world is a mistake in this song just like i said you know it shows shows the lady in her uh natural setting she's got acne she has to get you know four different people to get her ready it's all fantasy you know pump your face full of fillers and botox and never age who do they do it for it's all fake the filters the hair the makeup and i don't think that those people are truly happy i just don't
now he's an old man. But there's a whole new batch. But look what you're missing out on right there. That's beautiful. That the, the actual music, of course, Floor's singing is flawless as usual. And I love how, you know, it shows him rather than jumping in to help that guy who's getting beaten up, he takes a video of it because we see that so often, don't we? Nobody jumps in to help, but you better get a video. Fantastic song. I probably could have paused it 14 more times, but I get riled up when I watch stuff like this because so many people don't see the harm in it. And nine times out of 10, that's kind of all I see. But put your phone down and do this once in a while. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I hope all of you out there are having a wonderful day. And as I always say, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.